Hello everyone, welcome. Today I will be making a quick and easy recipe. This recipe, you don't need a lot of ingredient to make it. It's so simple and easy. First, you need one carrot and one ripe plantain. I'm now peeling my plantain. After finish peeling the plantain, I'm going to cut it into small pieces and add it to the blender. Next, I'm going to cut my carrot also in small pieces and add it also to the blender. This recipe is a quick and easy recipe that anyone can make it at home. The next step, I'm going to add one cup of water to the carrot and the plantain in the blender. Now I'm going to blend it until it's smooth. You want it to be smooth that whenever, whenever I'm making the recipe, it will come out with a good texture. Ripe plantain and carrot together give you a real nice flavor in any recipe that you are making because ripe plantain have a bit of sweetness into it also the carrots so whenever you put spice, spice to it the flavor will come out and you will get a nice recipe now that I am finished blending it I am going to chew it out You can see how smooth it is. Next, the next step I'm going to add to the ripe plantain and carrot some salt, salt to taste. And also I'm going to add some powdered season, some black pepper and three eggs now I'm going to mix them together mix them until everything combined together after finish mixing it I'm going to add two cups of flour. And you're going to mix in the flour until it's smooth and no lumps inside of it because you don't want any lumps to be in it. So you're going to mix it, mix it until everything dissolves out.
you want it smooth no lumps so you just keep on mixing it until you can look and see that there is no more lumps and you can stop mixing it I'm now going to set this aside and here I have a salt fish and I'm going to add it to the water and the fire to boil. After boiling the salt fish I'm now going to cut up some vegetables. First I'm going to cut some fresh parsley. After cutting the parsley, I'm going to cut some onion. One, one whole onion I am cutting up for this recipe. Next I'm going to cut, cut up two tomato. And also I'm now going to cut a sweet pepper, some person call it bell pepper. Now I'm going to cut some garlic into small pieces.
And uh, so we're going to put some hot pepper. Here I'm taking out the salt fish and adding it to some cold water and after that I'm going to pick it up in small pieces. Scrape, you have to scrape it first and pick it up into small pieces and here is the finish salt fish and the vegetable. Here I have my oil hot on the fire and I'm going to add the vegetable to the hot oil gonna stir it together to get the flavor out of it while while it cooking keep on stirring that to get the flavor come out out of it Next step, I'm going to add my salt fish. Now I'm going to add the parsley for the last because I don't want to overcook the parsley so I put in the parsley last into the pot. After I finish stirring it, I'm going to let it stay on the fire for about 10 minutes then I'm going to take it off and start to fry the dough that I just mix up. Here I add some black pepper to it. You don't need any salt to add to this recipe because it already have in the salt fish already have in the salt so you do not need any more salt to add to this recipe and the fire. You can see how lovely it look. I'm now going I'm now going to show you how I fry my dough. I'm going to spread it out inside of the frying pan. After the the, the, the pot out, so I'll spread out a little in the frying pan. In the frying pan you don't want it to 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 be too thick just spread it in a thin layer now I'm going to let it fry and on once on one side before I turn it on the other side now I'm going to turn it over You 
Okay, I'm so lovely. Look. Next step, I'm going to add my vegetable that I just made, saltfish vegetable, saltfish and vegetable together on it. You're going to spread it out on half side of the, the dough. Spread it out. After spread it out, I'm going to turn over the next side on it. You're going to just use the lift and turn it over. And then let it cook for about the next five minutes more. Here is the finished carrot rye planting recipe. You can see how moist it is. And it's so quick and easy to make. You can make this recipe any time of the day that you wish to make it because it does not take a lot of time as long as you have ripe planting and carrot at home you can make this recipe here my husband going to have a taste at it and tell me how it is He's saying that this recipe is enjoyable. It tastes much better than some pastry that he I want to thank each and everyone for watching. And if you watch this recipe and you like it, please could you like, share, and subscribe. Please could you also touch the notification bell that whenever I post a next video you will be the first one to get notified I will be so I will appreciate it so much if you could subscribe to this channel and help this channel to grow this channel will show you so many new recipe and so many creative way to prepare your meal so please subscribe that you can also be a part of this channel Thanks to each and everyone for watching and thank you for taking your time out to comment, share, like and subscribe. You can see how my husband is enjoying this recipe. Each and every week I will come up with new recipe that you can also cook these recipe and also enjoy them as oh my husband is also enjoying it and also myself thanks to each and everyone for watching